Hi everyone, so this is going to be a quick general reading. Uh, it is going to be no show and grow. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. It's a little bit of a different setup. I'm going to be using a different deck too. Uh, I got this deck based on images. I might use two decks. We'll see um, what's going on here. So, first card that came out... I'm just checking my deck, you guys, because uh, the two cards seem to be coming up reverse, but they're all they're all upright. So I am still using my laptop, so uh, sound might not be the best. Uh, picture quality is not the best, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm too cheap to go out and buy uh, spend money on. Uh, like a thousand bucks on a nice camera, you know, I'd love one. Uh, however, I could use that thousand bucks for something a lot more beneficial in my life. All right, and we have one upright card. So because I looked at it, I will show it to you. We have the Six of Swords. Uh, you can see she has a suitcase there, so there may be a trip. Or some of you, because of what is happening in the world today, um, you might be feeling pretty down because you can't travel or travel plans got... Uh, you do have... You have ravens here, and ravens are highly intelligent. Uh, they're you can attach them with Odin. Uh, they were he had two ravens. Uh, they were seers, you know. They were his eyes and ears. Uh, so you're gonna get intuitive messages somehow um, about whether or not a trip is worth while. Here's the thing, though. This is like, with the Six of Swords, uh, for me, everybody, it's different, right? Um, you're entitled to your, your own point of view or how you read. So with the Six of Swords, for me, the Six of Swords is a short journey. It's not a long journey, all right? And if you can see, she doesn't have much with her, right? It's one bag. She's not going away for a long time. Or he, okay? Um... Because in the traditional writer writer weight deck, uh, you see that there's swords in the boat. Okay, so water is going to fill in that boat eventually. It's not going to make a long journey. Um, so it is a chosen destination. Uh, it's not like you're going to wander around. Or you could end... <laughs> because of the, the way I'm explaining the boat where eventually it's going to sink. So it can wind up shore somewhere where um, you weren't originally planning because you had no choice but to get to safety. Um, so you don't sink. So this could be like an unplanned uh, destination or you're going to end up somewhere that you weren't planning on, which sounds weird. Um, it's kind of like... Um, there's a go with the flow energy here. Okay, uh, so all right. So the first card you got is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I picked this the, this deck when I got it because the images I really think they're beautiful. Um, it did come up in reverse. Okay. So I don't know why, but upright, I wanted to say you're picking your fruits of labor, right? Like, you can see that. She's picking it. In reverse, it's like grabbing, you know, which picking is grabbing, but I, like, 
in reverse, it's like grabbing. It's like taking something that's not yours is what I get from it. Um, so what you need to know... Because the only card you have in the upright is the Eight of uh, Pentacles, this means that there's hard work and dedication needed. So this means what you need to know is you can't just take what you want. You have to work hard towards it. I know that's, that's messed up, right? Like, um, that's kind of mean too, you know? Like, so it's like things aren't going to just change because you want them to change. They're going to change because you created that change. So... Uh, you have the two of wands next, so that's what you need to show. It's in reverse, which is, you know, I don't like reversals, so we'll show it upright, you know. Okay, so you can see her looking out at the window. She's pondering, wondering uh, what to do next, where it's, you had travel with the boat, so it's weird that you got a world here. It's like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You have this little, uh, what is that? It's not a Volkswagen be Beetle, but it's a Volkswagen. It's got a little surfboard. Uh, it's like, what new adventure? Okay, it's trying new things. Like, you've dreamed of surfing, maybe. You've dreamed of, uh, I don't know, traveling across the country where you live in a little van. Um, you could see there's a big open space here, like a big room. There's nothing being filled in there. So it's kind of like... You know, people have this um, this need to fill things, right? Like, so if you have a big space, you just start, you know, buying more things and putting things in those open spaces, right? Like, this person doesn't have much. Like, which is, it's kind of saying to me with the Nine of Pentacles, uh, the Two of Wands being in reverse... And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. What you need to show is work and dedication, um, uh, being attentive, uh, research, uh, data analysis. Uh, you can see she's she's got quite a bit. I mean, she's got a candle. She's got plants here. Um, she's got books here. She's got a feather, which kind of looks like one of those in the olden days, the feathers that you write with. Right, so jotting down notes, taking notes, um, and then she's got all these bowls with different things in it, like um, experimenting, kind of, you know, like. Uh, but with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, okay, uh, what you need to know with the Nine of Pentacles being reversed is you think you need more. Uh, <laughs> with the Two of Wands here, you like the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands being reversed is telling me you think you need more. Uh, you need more money to buy a house. You need um, a second job, okay? There's a way of... Um, I wanted to say thinking, but I stopped myself. It's doing. There's a way of doing things that isn't working for you, but there, there there's a way of doing things that will work for you. So this is kind of like, hmm, you need to change some, th some things, like, I was going to use the other deck, but let's just use this one. Um, maybe I'll pull one after. I want to say it's your thought process. I don't have any sword cards here. It's all earth and fire so far. But I want to say it's your thought, your way of thinking needs to change to, to understand that mm, what you want is completely obtainable, just in a different way. And you need to... You need to start looking outside instead of inside. You're, you're like just looking out the window. You need to start gathering information. So if there's something that you want to do that you think, oh man, it, it can't be done. Uh, you need to start looking for the information that's going to prove to you it has been done and it can be done. Uh, or maybe you'll be the first to do it. Who knows, right? Like um, a lot of people want to, okay, I'll use where I'm from. Okay, and I'm originally from Toronto, but I moved to BC. Uh, my family and a lot of people that move to this province <laughs> like to say BC stands for bring cash because it's highly expensive. It's got some of the most expensive real estate in the world. Okay, it's not obtainable for blue-collared folks or 
<coughs> or the average person like myself, okay, to obtain um, a, a house, like, like a three bedroom with a basement house, okay, is not obtainable in this province unless you um, are making a shit ton of money, okay, or um, and you're just going to be paying for that house until the day you die. Like you're always going to be, the bank owns it basically, you're always going to be paying for it. It's just like million dollar homes, you know, small condos out here can cost 600,000, 500,000 and it's like 600 square feet, you know, like, so um, for myself, my way of thinking, okay, is, um, you know, I do have significant Aquarius in my chart, Sagittarius, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, you know, Cancer, uh, Taurus, quite a few signs, <laughs> but uh, those are the most prominent in my chart. Um, for me, I'm just going to buy land and build a shipping container home. Now, with the way that these cards are looking, okay, it's saying like, mm, it's kind of like you've made plans, and you might need to work on those plans or a bit more, or there's a different um, way of doing it. So for me, my plan is to get, buy land and build the ship, shipping container home myself. Okay, like uh, I got a sheet metal background. Uh, those of you that aren't aware of it, that's like um, um, steel work, right? I work with metal. Okay, like on a large scale, so there's a lot of so soldering and uh, hammering and cutting and, um, you know, a lot of math goes into it, uh, welding, you know, like there's, um, that's a skill I have, an earthly skill, you got, you do have earth here, uh, it's an earthly skill that I have that I can, um, with the wands, do here, now, you know, like I can, I can, work that with the eight of pentacles is work that too in my advantage to get what i want however with these cards okay and it saves money me building it right like it's going i am sacrificing my short term for a long term uh stability okay a lot of people when they buy these houses they don't want to they they're not going to build a house on their own they have no idea how to do it they're not going to spend two to three years to build their own house and put that sweat blood and tears into it you know, make those mistakes themselves, you know, like, they're going to take the shortcut, which is, okay, I'm gonna buy this house that somebody else built and is worth this amount of money, uh, instead of doing the work myself, right, like, you can, and what these cards are saying is, uh, like, I can use myself as an example, that's my plan, all right, I'm a Virgo, I always got a plan, <laughs> I got a backup plan for that backup plan and that backup plan. This is kind of saying you might not be able to have plans, you know, like any Virgos out there that might have just fucking crushed you, you know, or it's saying mm, you might want to be open minded to a different way. So, you know, in my mind, my plan is buy the land uh, and build the house myself, right? Of course, I will pay professionals to do the electrical work. Uh, that's not something I'm going to mess around with, you know, like maybe the plumbing. I'll try to do as much plumbing I can myself, you know, like, uh, however, this is saying, like, for, like, in, with my example is, that's my plan to build a shipping container, but I might need to be open-minded to a different method of doing things, right, like, uh, for me, it's all about having land, I'm going to buy it outside of the main area of where uh, I live now, I'm pretty centrally located to Vancouver, um, and I'm just going to go an hour out of the city, right? It's cheaper cost of uh, living out there. It's a little more rural, uh, but the land's there. And in the future, I can sell off pieces of the land, subdivide it, uh, also build for my parents, right? And my fiance's uh, mother as well. But I want to get an Airbnb property on there to bring in income, right? Like, um, my focus is passive income, right? This is like... With this card here, it's like work smarter, not harder, all right? So you need to do the research uh, yourself. Nothing comes, these cards are saying nothing comes easy. Nothing comes without sacrifice, right? Like that's in the beginning, I was like, oh, you want these things um, to change? Or you're taking something that's not yours, you know? Like, because you're like, oh, it's like, how can I explain it? 
it's like, I want this. If you want it, you've got to put the action into doing it. You also have to understand you don't need as much as you actually think you need. Okay, there's a way to, there's a solution to your problem here. So these cards are basically telling me uh, you're so focused on the problem that you're not focused, you're not looking, okay, because she's looking, right? You're not looking for the solution. You're looking at the problem. Now, you, with these two pentacle cards, it's a very Virgo-ish energy. There's research and data and hard work and um, quiet time, okay, alone time, um, and open spaces. You guys might need to definitely, you know, do some earthing, which is like, you know, get out in nature, hike, uh, not be around people, um, have a picnic, you know, on a climb or something. Uh, there's a different way to do things. I might not have finished my sentence prior. All right. If this makes sense, okay? My job as a reader is not to fill your ego, okay? Like, I'm not here to um, say, hey, you were right for doing this. You were wrong for doing this. Um, the other person was right. The other person was wrong. I don't focus on love readings because, I mean, those are forces I don't mess with, right? Like, there's rules I have to follow. I don't break free will, right? That's not my business. If, if love comes up, I'm looking for solutions, right? I'm looking to... Um, protect your mind, okay, and to protect your mind, sometimes that means you have to crush the ego, right, like, so this is with, with it being in reverse, and this being in reverse, it's like, maybe you're not being active enough, maybe you're not trying new things enough, maybe you're not getting out there enough, with the earth card, it's like, maybe you're not doing the physical things necessary to take care of yourself, with work, they're scheduling appointments, maybe you haven't gone to the doctors, maybe you haven't made that appointment to get better, you know, like, everybody's guilty of this, you guys, okay, please don't take it personally, you know, like, part of being spiritual and, and doing this is to help you heal, help you have a better life, help you get the things you want, you know, like, I want the best for everybody, you know, like, I'm guilty of these things too, you know, like, I used to go to the gym all the time, I haven't gone to the dentist in a while, I just recently went and they gave me shit because I haven't gone in a while, and, you know, there was a problem with one of my teeth that I could have had uh, fixed simply, but now it's created a bigger problem because I wasn't putting the work into myself, right? Like, I lost focus. I was so busy on, you know, focusing on other people and other things and life changing that, you know, I forgot to, you know, include the important things and the necessities in life because this is an open space, right? Like, all that clutter in there, those aren't necessities. This is saying that you need less to survive. The necessities are less. Less is more. Okay. Less is more is what I'm getting. Okay. You know, and as that example there that I gave with what I want to do, that might not, it might work out. It might not work out. All right. Like, um, financially I'm prepared for it, you know, like, um, but as a Virgo rising, I want to have, uh, more, <laughs> sounds greedy, but I want to have more finances sitting there so while i'm building in case accidents come up or hiccups come up because i've done some research and some data and i've looked into it and you know um uh, certain people that i've watched and i watched them because they made mistakes right there's things they didn't know they're trying things i'm gonna make mistakes no matter how much of the virgo in me comes out and is like research and data so this doesn't happen that doesn't happen like i want to dot all my I's, cross all my T's, you know, avoid as much as possible. That's Virgo, right? Like, I don't want any problems, man. <laughs> right? Like, they're going to come up, though, right? Like, and the Virgo in me is going to be like, oh, why didn't, why didn't I research more? I could have, could have avoided this, you know? Like, it's just going to happen. That's natural in life, okay? But the people I researched, you know, based on their mistakes that they've come up across, you know, like the city that they built in or state that they built in had specific restrictions. So it ended up costing them, you know, um, a ton more because they had to go get all these certifications and these licenses and they had to have these extra inspections or have a specific person. And that wasn't something that they were aware of, right? You think building a place, I drop the plans, I go to the city, I, you know, like get it approved, I get an engineer to look at it. That's it. Bam, I can build it. There's, every place and area is different, right? Like, so maybe what, maybe, you know, like, 
Eco Homes. I think I just watched that. I'm quite into the home stuff, you guys. Uh, I just watched a, a company in the States that does an eco home, you know, it's, it's, uh, they're trying to make it affordable living, right? So it's like a pre-manufactured home that comes built, um, you know, that could be a cheaper cost, uh, you know, like eventually. So my plans might have to change, you know, I'm pretty set on the shipping container home. I feel it's like, you know, as adult adults, we forget to play sometimes and, Okay, there's playing here. There's trying new things. The world, venture, looking out, wondering. You know, children are quite creative. You have creativity in here too with all of these things here, different things, different choices, right? But as adults, we forget to play, okay? And um, when you're a kid, you played in the sandbox, you know? Like now you get to go to a beach and you can play by yourself, right? Like you can go to the beach and play with the surfboard. That's why I use that one. Um, you know, used to climb the monkey bars. Now you can go mountain climbing as an adult, you know, like you used to swim in that little kiddie pool. Well, now you have a whole ocean or a lake that's available to you, you know, be safe, wear a life jacket, you know, like make sure people are around you, of course. Um, you know, take swimming lessons, like, you know, like there's skills, eight of pentacles is skills. Uh, you don't know how to swim. You can, it's never too late to learn, you know, like, um, it's surprising how many people don't know how to swim, you know, like my mother, uh, I grew up swimming, um, pretty much from the time I was born, her grandparents had a, or her parents had a pool. Uh, I was fortunate enough to grow up with a pool myself. Um, so we've always been swimming. My mom can't skate though. All right. So just cause you can't like, I just want to say like, I'm seeing this because my mom, we went to uh, Whistler. I took her out there. Uh, I was going to go skiing that day with my dad, but my mom doesn't ski. So I wanted to spend some time with her while my dad was going down the slopes to like, um, to, like have fun with her, try new things, right? They had bobsledding there. She would never do that. Um, <laughs> I do want to try it though. Uh, you go down with a professional. They had skating there. What else did we do that? Tubing. She had never done tubing. Uh, and we went skating and she um, has never skated before. And she was quite embarrassed. She was like, oh, I can't, you know, I can't skate. And she had to use this like little kids thing so she could stand on the skates. And she didn't want to because she was scared uh, people were going to judge her. Right. Like she kept saying, oh, everybody's looking at me. Oh, I can't skate. And, you know, like and I said to her, you know, like Mao, mom, uh, we say Mao in Portuguese. Uh mom there a lot of these people probably can't swim you can swim right like like you're from a different area it's wasn't you know she's portuguese you know s winter sports aren't really their thing <laughs> okay but there's areas where you know like i said they can't swim you know but they can skate like a like a mofo you know like so there's no shame in learning and trying new things right you don't know what you like until you try it Okay. All right. You have the Ten of Swords. So you have to, way too much thinking and chattering uh, going on in your head. Mm. You have in two of these cards wide open spaces. Like you need air. And it's funny because remember earlier I said there's no swords, but uh, I, I thought it was thinking. I felt it was thinking. You guys are way too much in your head, man. You, you are far too focused on the problem and not enough focused on the solution. What are your options? All right. The Ten of Swords is like a finale, you know, like, like it's done, it's over with, you're like, you're reminiscing on it, you can't change, like, you, you, oh, wow, you can't change, that's interesting that I said that, I was gonna say you can't change the past, okay, but I stopped that change for some reason, you can't change if you're so focused on what happened back then, it might not be like that in the future, you guys, okay, you might create a self-fulfilling prophecy, you have way too much chatter in your mind, if you have people saying your spouse is this and your spouse is that and you're listening to it, you're going to see it because that's what you're hearing. All right. Like 
just as much as we want to point the finger and blame other people for problems, quite often we're the creators of that, you know, like you want to get healthy. Well, then you have to make those, those sacrifices to do it. Maybe going to the gym doesn't work for you. You have to try another option here. There's other ways of doing it. So maybe that means that you walk every day after dinner. Okay. Um, some of you have a lack of energy. So I found when I was at my fitness, you guys, and when I got to my fitness, it wasn't, it wasn't because I wanted to be fit. <laughs> Life is full of irony. It was because I had to be. Okay, I had all my ribs broken. So I had to go and get myself in shape. I could have sat at home and been in pain. Or, or I could have gone to the gym and been in pain. Either way, I was in pain. I'd rather have the pain work for me to make me stronger than the pain um, persist and keep me held back, all right? Because if I didn't put that work in at the gym and there was blood, literal, literal blood, sweat, and literal tears that went into me doing that, okay, like getting better, it, it was brutal. Where I, like, I never, I would never wish that upon my enemy, the type of pain I was in. Um, I made a personal de de decision though, you know, like, and now, See, it's funny because you said the past. I'm holding myself up to that standard, right? I was so fit after that, right? Where, and now I'm always disappointed. It's like, man, you know, I should get back to that. Or, uh, but that when I was that fit, that was my extreme. That was like, I was the fittest I had ever been. Not out of choice though, right? Like I had professionals helping me uh, rehabilitate my body. You know, I had to teach myself to walk again. You know, even talking was hard, laughing crying. I couldn't do those things. Like there's like why I'm saying that is because I would never go back to that level of fitness again. Like it wasn't ob like uh, not obtainable because I obtained it. Right. But like I wasn't at the time, it wasn't to look a certain way or to um, fit or be a certain, like fit into a certain dress size or pant size or to, um, uh, look a certain way for society, you know, because I cared about how people uh, perceived me. It, no, me getting to that level of fitness that I obtained at that time was because m my only thought process was um, I need to physically feel better. I need to be able to work. I need to be able to walk. I need to be able to, you know, mow my own lawn. <laughs> like, you know, it was out of absolute survival and necessity. Nece like, a necessity, okay, like back to this card, things that you think that are necessities aren't necessities, less is more, all right, like, um, I obtained that because I had no choice, right, but looking back now, uh, even now, I still need to lose a little bit, bit of weight, I've gained some weight since you guys have last seen me, you know, I've been, the nine of pentacles upright, I've been enjoying the comforts, <laughs> yeah, I've been enjoying the comforts, you guys, of life, what life has to offer, um, so I am trying to get a little healthier, not out of, um, it ha this has to do with yourself. This is like, I, the only thing I can do is give you examples, you guys, cause I'm not going to sit here and guess or, or give fake scenarios, right? This is real life. Your lives are real. You, you know, you feel, you know, you hurt, you know, like you care, and I care, so I want to see the best for you guys. So right now, for me, um, I'm just trying to get to a state where I feel healthy, you know? Like, I just want to feel healthy, you know? Like, uh, it's not about how other people perceive me, you know? Uh, luckily, I'm not sure if it's being a fire sign or, you know, I like to think it's the way my parents raised me because I'm not the most girliest girl, um, and I do, my heart really... Um, breaks and goes out to the girls in today's generation because they didn't have the privileges of growing up uh, like I did in the 80s and 90s, you know, like life's a lot harder. And back then, and there was a lot of pressure on women to look a certain way, you know, and now it's just, it's so unrealistic the way uh, these girls look at the way that they're supposed to look, their image of self, right? Like, like right now I'm talking to you guys, I got no makeup on. I never have makeup on, you guys. Like, it's just... You know, like, that's who I am. I'm a pretty, um, you know, I put it on if I'm going out. 
that's it, you know, like, I like to tell my fiance, I keep the standards low, you know, like, when we go out, I'm, like, you know, with the makeup, it brings you up a level, you know, like, we're, you don't want to be that girl that has a face, and then you got to wipe that face off, and you look completely different, like, these poor girls, like, if they go missing, and you see a picture of what they actually look like without makeup, you would never recognize them if you walk past them as a missing person, like, that's pretty sad, you know, like, you need to love and nurture and care for yourself, you know, everybody's got something, you know, like, like, you need to go inwards and declutter uh, these negative, you have negative things blocking you from a beautiful, bright future that you guys have, and the thing is, I'm getting, like, this, these aspirations and, and, goals that you don't have right now but once you break these barriers you're gonna have them and that sounds confusing it's like you're gonna become something find an interest like you could start a business and right now you're like there's no way in hell I want to start a business I don't want that stress you know what I mean like I don't want the um, responsibilities you know what I mean like I'm a Virgo rising you know like I've never wanted to be a boss at a job. You know, I've been offered at jobs and it's like, no, nah, man, I want to come to work. I just want to do my job to the best of my ability and leave. You know what I mean? Like I'm a behind the scenes type person. Um, there's an energy here of you, like you have this potential in you that you aren't even aware of. And once you break these barriers and this, these declutter the unnecessary things in your mind, it could be in your body even, all right? There's nothing wrong with eating good, you guys. Everything in moderation. You want mayonnaise on your sandwich? Instead of putting lettuce, throw some spinach on it. Maybe make it whole wheat bread or multigrain bread, all right? Just to, you know, make up for that extra mayonnaise that you're putting on it. You know, like balance it out. You got to balance it out. And why I'm saying balance is because I did see the two pentacles in it. That's a practical dis like decision. It's, it's, a complicated energy, the Two of Pentacles, because that is a um, Capricorn Sagittarius energy, okay, and those are two conflicting energies. One is an optimism, um, outgoing, very worldly, um, happy-go-lucky, and the other one's very restrictive, you know, Sagittarius is about expansion, and Saturn's about restriction, all right? And it's not restriction like, oh, I can't move type thing. It's restriction for your own good, like, hey, man, okay, let's, let's bring it back a bit. You'll get there, but you got to do this and this first, and then you can do that. You, do you know what I mean? Like, it's Saturn's a good energy. So with the Saturn in, in Sag energy that you have there with the two of pentacles flowing, it's like like this this, this boom like explosion of like all these opportunities and possibilities and then this this pull in you know like uh, of the saturn energy of restriction is it's it's you have an energy of saying like you need to get rid of this this and this and do this this and this and make these changes for your own well-being in order for you to get all of this like the world is your oyster it's your playground you know, like I was saying with the shipping containers, that's like, that's like being an adult. Um, we forget to play as children, you know, like shipping containers are like Lego. I can add on to them at any point. I start with one, okay, like the here in the now, and then I can expand, like in the future, like less is more. I only need one to start. Do I want to live in a super tiny home? Mm, you know, I live in 600 square feet right now and it's quite tiny. I would like a little more room. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to uh, living tiny. I don't have as much stuff, you guys. All right, my bills are cheaper, <laughs> like super cheap. It doesn't cost much to heat this place. All right, I could turn the oven on, and the house starts to get warm. You know, when I'm when I'm cooking. You know, like. But I, I definitely, you know, would like a little more space, but. You sacrifice your short term for the long term. Okay, never sacrifice your long term for short-term gratification, instant gratification, okay? Yeah, see, sword, sword, sword. Two swords, you have all these birds. This is all information 
chitter chatter, people's opinions, people's opinions don't mean nothing, man. All right. That's an opinion. If somebody tells you no, you say thank you. Okay. You know, if somebody gives you opinion, you say, hey, man, that's your opinion. It's the way you feel. <laughs> I got shit to do, places to go, people to see, things to do, you know? Like, 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 it's not the end all be all. Okay. And you need to really question yourself if, if you're doing things based on approval for, from others, your approval needs to come from yourself. Okay. You're, you have this energy in this reading of internal. Okay. You, you need to internally focus, not, okay. You're not looking at the exterior things. You're looking at the internal things. So exterior, it's like, this is kind of like people that have a big house, nice car. Okay, well, you think they're rich. They're not, man. They're living paycheck to paycheck. The bank owns them, basically. They don't own nothing. The bank owns them, right? Their, their children might end up getting uh, their debt, you know? Like, their marriage could be pretty crappy. You don't know what's going on in the exterior realms, right? Like, in, like if you're just looking at the exterior, it's, you don't know what's happening in, in the interior, sorry. Like, in the... And is what I'm saying making sense to anybody? <laughs> All right. Like also with these birds here, this is like, okay, guys, how can I word this nicely? Like some people are damaged and they're going to portray that damage out to you. Okay. Like I used to watch tarot videos. I mean, there are a few people, I think, um, actually they don't do videos anymore. And it's a, it's a shame because. I really enjoyed their stuff. I have seen other um, readers out there, and I just, like, I am baffled at what is out there. Like, that's no no shot to any of those readers or anything like that. Okay, that's their business. What they do is their business. You know, like, love readings. Sitting there saying, oh, your ex regrets leaving you. Your ex may very well not regret leaving you at all. Okay, like, I hate to break it to you. Okay, like, like I'm not here to feed your ego. Okay, they're feeding your ego. There's... Like, for me, I do this for free. There's no benefit for me, all right? Like, I have other avenues, that, you know, like, I'm focused on passive income. I work a full-time job. I, I focus on my passive incomes, uh, you know, like, and this is just a hobby. I generally care about people. There's some people who watch me for years, you know, like, and, and um, I'm here on their journey as well as they're on my journey, you know, like, you guys help me and in return, I want to help you. You know, like, uh, when you ask questions, you force me to think in a different perspective. Um, maybe it's an experience I haven't had yet, and I would have never thought to look at things that way. You know, like, um, the beauty of being an individual is that, you know, the way you see things is different than the way I see things. And my neighbor uh, can look out their window, and I can look out my window, and we're seeing two totally different things, yet we're in the same location. You know what I mean? Like, they have a different view than what I have. So there's beauty in that and it should be appreciated, you know, like uh, differences shouldn't be um, a negative. They should be a positive. They teach us, we grow, we learn from them. All right. Like um, if a person, if somebody's saying a person regrets uh, you leaving them, you could have very well left them because you've been listening to BS. Uh, somebody telling you what that person thinks. Did you ask that person what they think? How the hell do they know what they think? I'm not going to tell you what another person thinks, okay, like, there's different types of, um, I should say spirituality or abilities, okay, like, um, some people can pick up on what you're feeling, so they might just be saying what you're feeling, other people can actually fucking read souls, you know, like, they see what's at the core in your soul, what's blocking you, okay, then you have people that are cog cognitive, okay, that maybe they're getting messages from other people, and you have energy readers, Okay, they can pick up energy around you. So they might have a higher frequency and they're picking up on multiple chatters. Okay, like you don't have cups here. Which could be saying your emotions are your blockage. Or it could be saying that you're, you're holding your emotions out. You'll hear people say, uh, make them um, use your mind, don't use your heart. And you'll hear other people say, use your heart, don't use your mind. Personally, I think they're both wrong. I think you have to have both in alignment before, because your heart can lead you to do some pretty stupid shit, okay? Like, as a Sag, I've done some pretty stupid shit, okay? Um, my heart led me to do that. That's what I felt was right, okay? Uh, 
my mind has led me to do some pretty good things because I thought about ideas and I tried them and I did them, okay? But my mind has also blocked me from things, okay? Because um, it can, it, it's what holds your fear, right? Like, um, your mind is what holds the memory of the heart. Uh, when you were hurt, your mind protects you and blocks you so you're not hurt again and you'll sabotage, okay? But your heart, if you just open your heart, you know, like... It might not be that way the next time, okay? If you have an open heart, things can work out. But you want to keep them both in balance because they can both hurt you, okay? But they both bring you blessings, okay? So, like, when you can balance them both out, you make a logical, rational decision at that point, okay? Like, you're using both to create. Oh, it's funny. You said you had no cups. You have the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups. Look at this guy. You know, Romeo, Romeo. <laughs> hey, he looks up. He looks like a pretty cool, chillax. He's romantic. Look at him. He's a dreamer, man. He's got a letter there. He's got a little picnic for you guys. You know, like he brought a freaking horse. And look at this. He's got wings on his shoes, man. He's a dreamer. You know, he's got flowers. You know, there's a little bit of old school mix with the new school. Like, what do I mean by that? The cop characters are nice because they're like, you know, that old movie romance, wine and dine you, like, they bring in you flowers, you know, like, okay? This guy, he doesn't look too shiny. Oh, what do I mean by shiny? I mean, like, uh, <laughs> kind of came out wrong. You know, like, they say the knight in shining armor, okay? Uh, and girls are taught to be wooed by the knight in shining armor. Well, I'm here to, to... Burst your bubble. That's Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn energy Saturn. And tell you, a knight's armor is only shiny because it's never been used before. So keep that in mind. All right? Like, that means a person might not have had experiences. Okay? Manipulated their way out of things. Who, who the hell knows? You know? Like, um, you could have manipulated a situation at one point of time. And, you know, like, you like... That's not right. I keep hearing chatter, and it's it's not right. I don't know what that means. Like, how do I explain it? Like, what, like I do strongly feel like, you guys, that somebody could be ru ruining a good thing for you from chatter. You're, you're listening... What you listen to is highly effective on your mind, you guys. So you want to ensure that you're surrounding yourself with positivity, okay? And um, you need music. Shake it off, you guys. You've heard me say it before. Those of you that know me and have watched, I'm a high believer in music. It's energy, all right? High vibe music. Shake it off. Dance around. Be an idiot. Shake your groove thing. <laughs> Nobody's going to see you at home, you know? Like... Um, I don't like dealing with love, but if you guys do have love here, one, I'm going to say watch what you're listening to because it could ruin a good thing for you. So this could be like you're watching love tarot videos on your partner, okay? I kind of think people that deal with just the love thing, it's a little... They're, they're preying on a vulnerability. Love is one of the most precious gifts out, out there in... in just be careful you're not a victim. That's all I'm going to say about that, okay? Like, because they could ruin a good thing for you. They could be saying this person feels that, this person feels like this, this person's doing that, and none of that's happening. But you're believing it, and you're going to create a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you're going to create the very situation you were trying to avoid. Okay? And if you want to know how a person is, is thinking um, or feeling, you need to ask them. You need to pay attention to what you're seeing. Maybe you have a partner that's not very good with words, okay? They're not very good with words, but they're loving as in hell, all right? They cook for you. Maybe they leave you little notes, you know? Like, they're thoughtful is what that means. They're thoughtful, okay? So they do things for you. Maybe they buy you flowers. They're not a big talker, all right? Like, especially, you got a Virgo energy in here. So Virgos... Um, they're doers, man. They're, they're not a fire sign, but they are doers, right? Like, they will make dinner every day for you. They're practical, right? They take you to your appointments. They will, um, 
you got an injury, they're going to change your bandies every day, you know? They might not be the most lovey-dovey with words. Maybe they aren't romantic, but they take care of the practical things for you, okay? The language of love is quite complicated, all right? Like, you could be from the same culture. It doesn't mean you speak the same love language, okay? And we're all on a journey. We're here to learn. But you can't expect somebody to do something if you're not doing it. So what I mean by that, this is because there's something petty here. Um, so an, like an example would be if you're a female and you're always getting mad that your you know spouse or whoever um, is leaving the toilet seat up, seat up all the time. Um, like if you really think about it, <laughs> it's a common courtesy them to put the seat down right like i mean ladies think about it do we lift the seat up after we do our business no right so why do we feel like they have to do it for us right because that's the old romantic notion it's like the the old stereotype of the way things have to be so it's i want to say like the way men wooed you or but it's not what i'm you know what i mean you don't know what i mean because i don't know what i mean but the it's like when in the olden days when you dated courting, okay? It's like courting, you know? There's a certain a certain tradition uh, or traditional way of how things are supposed to be. Men are supposed to be, you know, like, pay all the bills and women are supposed to stay at home and raise kids, all right? Like, it's not 1950, all right? Like, like, like part of being spiritual is being aware. It's all it is. It's not, it's not, it's not anything... Uh, that people might make it out to seem. It's a level of awareness, okay? And we're not aware of, we're here to learn. That's how we learn, is becoming aware, making mistakes. You make a mistake, then you become aware, right? It becomes a problem if you are aware of what you're doing and knowingly doing it. So if you know that you're hurting somebody, um, then that's a problem, okay? Then you wouldn't be aware uh you couldn't call yourself spiritual. You know what I mean? So if people are out there like saying, oh, your spouse is cheating on you, they're not spiritual. They don't know shit. <laughs> I'm going to be frank with you. They don't know shit. Okay, Maybe one or two cases it is, but that's that's toxic information for you to be putting in your brain. You have your own mind and your own eyes. You can see perfectly well. All right? You're looking for solutions, not problems. Okay. If you have a spouse, the chitter chatter of the outside is creating the problems. Some of you need a little more romance. Again, going back to the toilet seat, ladies, you can't expect um, if we don't lift the toilet seat up for them, that they put it down all the time for us. You can't get mad about something that small and, and minute, you know, like there, there's, you know, like <laughs> you should just start like leaving the toilet seat up all the time and see what they say to you. <laughs> there you go, honey. So, the way you need to handle things is you just handle it with humor, all right? Humor is the best way to do it. Um, you might need a romantic, if you can't go out, a lot of people can't go out to restaurants or dancing or clubbing. Um, be creative, man. Create that in your own house. You got eight of cups, right? And I'm going to end it at the eight of cups because this is an ending. It's a walking away. Okay, you have a fire in the water there. And when I noticed that, it was kind of like one of those lanterns that are released in the air. It's like you're walking away from what no longer serves you, man. Like, enough is enough. You see the sun. You see the light. You see a new life. Open field again. You have all this openness. Your future is open to so many possibilities that you aren't even aware of yet. Because you have all of this... this I'm going to say it. You have work to do. We all have work to do. I have work to do. I don't do these videos all the time, you guys, to be 100% honest, because I don't, I believe in energy. First of all, when I do did do the video, videos constantly, um, my work-life balance was out of whack. Um, I worked all the time. The type of job I had, the bacon industry, super stressful. You, guys. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, but it's super stressful and a long hours, all right? Like, so I made changes to my life. I got a, a, a job that's, it, it's good pay. Uh, 
set hours, which is the main thing for me because I didn't have set hours before. I just went whenever I was called or when they scheduled me. It always ended up being like 12 hours. I was gone 16 hours out of the day. Just ridiculous. You know, like I was working harder. I wasn't working smarter, you know, like, but the main reason I don't, didn't, I stopped doing these videos was I find energy wise, it's draining on me, right? Like it, it pulls a lot of energy out of me to do these. Uh, sometimes I would sleep for quite some time after doing the videos. And I noticed when I didn't do a video for a week, my energy levels were to the extreme. So I have to find a balance for this, but also, uh, I do have a strong Virgo, Virgo rising in my chart. I am a shyer person. I don't like being on camera. I don't like when my channel started to grow, uh, I would always just disappear because I don't like the attention. I don't want people asking me to do personal readings for them. And, and, and there's another reason and another layer to that because um, I am spiritual, okay, but I believe more in the Buddhist type of lifestyle and Buddhists. Um, they're only allowed to preach or give a speech for one meal per day, you guys. Okay, like, that's it. They're not, they can't accept anything else, right? And why I'm saying that is I feel like money will taint things, okay? It'll make me um, biased. Um, I also don't want my ego to be filled, you know? Like, I, I don't want to suffer from a God complex. Uh, you know, what's given can be taken, uh, you know? Like, and, and it's important to me to maintain my lifestyle, to, to stay humble, uh, and I'm out there doing it just like you guys, you know what I mean? I work hard every day uh, I save my money and I sacrifice, you know, like and I'm on a journey and you're on a journey and, and I Want the best for everybody uh, that I've come into contact with even my enemies, man. I you know, like uh, I, I Strongly suggest and never trying to get even with people man. They'll screw up their own shit Okay, like they don't need help with that. You just move along you do you Okay, do you, boo? <laughs> you know, like, you, you are going to get what you want because you did the work. No other reason. No shortcuts. Okay, like, if you're thinking, you know, you see, you see, it happens both for men and women. I don't want to just say women. Okay, like, marry for money. Okay, they might have everything they want financially. They got nothing internally, though. Man, the exterior, the exterior part of their life looks freaking fabulous. Their interior part of life, man, they're probably alcoholics. They're fighting all the time. They're miserable as hell. They're the ones that are gossiping all the time, creating drama in between people because they're unhappy. All right? Like, like less is more. You don't need as much as what you actually think. Man, you got a few good people in your life. You got food in your stomach, a roof over your head. You are blessed. All right? Like, when you see the value in doing good for yourself that's going to radiate out to other people like there there's creativity that you have that can create a very beautiful lifestyle for you okay. and walking away from no longer what serves you brings you the nine of cups oh what <laughs> all right like like the treasure is you, all right? You want to get fit, get fit. Don't do it to look a certain way or for the approval of others or to fit in a certain dress size. Do it because you need to do it for you, man. You just want to feel good. You want to be able to go running without being winded, you know? Maybe you have kids. You want to be able to run with your kids or keep up with your kids. That's why you're getting healthy, right? Like, you... You have to find the true meaning behind things. And once you crack that, then like, then you will succeed. Like, the meaning behind what you're doing, I'm not explaining this right. Your needs and wants are different. Okay, like your potential is unlimited. You just have to unlock it. So you have to do some work. You have to ex like do some work by um, looking in the mirror, uh, admitting mistakes that you have made, you know, maybe you pushed that person away. Maybe they didn't, they didn't, uh, they weren't responsible. Maybe you have chatter telling you that they were responsible, but you really were the one that pushed them away. Okay, I'm saying this because I care about you. Okay. And I want you to be happy with your next partner. Okay. Like, um, so the sooner that you are aware of what, what you've done or what you can become or how to get there or your issues, the sooner you have solutions for them. Don't focus on the problem. You know what the problem is already. 
focus on the solution. All right, you're looking, you're looking to move forward, not back. Okay, like you got some joyful times ahead of you. All right, all right, you guys. I know I haven't done these videos in a while. Uh, you can see my messy closet behind me. <laughs> all right, scenery will be different. This is my den area. Um, I am trying to fix it up today. I am doing some spring cleaning actually, and um, for some reason I decided to do this. I'm going to rearrange my uh, den. I got to pull out all my camping stuff from my closet. 600 square feet, you guys. You really got to like utilize every inch of space. And actually, my den closet has a bigger closet than my bedroom. It's the water heaters in that closet. So most of my stuff goes in here. <laughs> I'm just like, you, you guys, you, those of you that know friends, okay, I'm like uh, in that episode of Monica, with Monica, like Chandler finds her closet. <laughs> She's like a super neat freak. I'm a, I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty keen on being neat. All right, like my my place is pretty tidy. Every Sunday I do some one major like clean. Like I'm talking like I'll either scrub the bathtub that week. The next week I will do all of the curtains, like the blinds by hand, you know, and then the following week I'm with a toothbrush on the floor, hands and knees, scrubbing <laughs> the tile, <laughs> right? Like every Sunday there's a major clean of some area and then when I've done it all, I just, I go back. But uh, this den has been my um, closet, like in the episode of Friends with Monica. And the door is always closed, so you just got to peek into it. <laughs> it will be organized though by the end of the day. So, um, and then I'll probably buy a few things to um, sass up the walls or, you know, uh, actually I should just go through my stuff first because I probably have things that I could could use. Or maybe with this card, empty space, I need to get rid of, rid of stuff. <laughs> Man, I told you, everybody's guilty, right? Like, all right, you guys, I know I haven't done these readings in a long time. Um, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to title it. Um, I wasn't going to release it. When I seen the scenery in the background, because, you know, I don't want people judging me, but, you know, it is what it is. It's real life. <laughs> it's a real life problem, okay? Uh, I'm sharing it with you, okay? Uh, and if I do do another video and it's done in here, you can hold me accountable if it's not uh, done. You might need a friend that can hold you accountable, okay? Um, and I will try to do another video or two um, every now and then. Um, just to try to hold you accountable as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, namaste, everybody. I hope this helped you out. Um, you know, uh, stay safe out there. Uh, love yourself. Love those around you. Okay, sending you lots of peace, love, and light, man. Um, and wishing you um, lots of health and happiness, you guys. Okay, like, I, I want you to get you, get out of your head. There's a balance here. There's two scales. It's Libra. Balancing things out. All right? Stop listening to the chitter-chatter. Go inside. Listen to yourself. You know. All right? All right, you guys. Namaste. Have a great uh, month, shall we say. <laughs>